listeners and subscribers hope all is well really quickly i wanted to go over something that i kind of glossed over in my last video i talked about how the uh wildfires are reshaping fire insurance for homeowners basically and i, I just basically glossed over that i wanted to go over this so I'm, what i'm going to show is some anecdotal evidence and uh direct evidence of people straight losing their um fire coverage that these uh, insurance companies are dropping fire coverage for, for homeowners, right, in their high-risk areas. So let's go ahead and uh, play this clip. For the past 15 years, Fred Perkins has lived here in the Oakland Hills, taking meticulous care of his home. But without warning, he says he recently received this letter from his insurance company, Liberty Mutual. So the property poses an unacceptable risk for wildfire. Informing him it won't be renewing his fire insurance. You know, after 15 years, I was just very surprised. Perkins was not living here in October of 1991, but his was among the more than 3,000 homes incinerated in the Oakland Hills firestorm. Oh, I don't think it's fair. I think they should, at a minimum, come to the property, examine the property, and tell me what the issues are. Perkins is among a growing number of homeowners in the East Bay who are seeing their fire insurance being canceled. California Insurance Commissioner records show a 15% increase in cancellations in the Oakland Hills between 2015 and 2016, the most recent data available. They're updating their models and they're concluding that some homes are just too risky to continue to write insurance for, and so they're either non-renewing or declining to write new insurance. Insurance Commissioner Dave Jones says it's not yet a crisis, but it is a growing problem in areas where neighborhoods meet wildlands. We've discovered that these models don't include the sorts of things that homeowners are doing to reduce the risk of fire to their home. So they don't include, for example, the fact that you're using roof materials to make your roof impervious to embers. Those who lose insurance can check with other carriers, and as a last resort, people can get insurance through the state's so-called FAIR plan. Perkins has obtained an insurance broker to help him. If you play this out the way it sounds, virtually everybody could lose their insurance. Absolutely incredible, right? I mean, and here we go. Although state officials have recently received complaints from homeowners who have lost their insurance, non-renewal notices are not unique to Ventura County and are business as usual for the uh, insurance industry. So this is nothing new. This is this is fair game. Basically, people can lose their insurance. These wildfires can happen. The people lose their insurance. They either move to another provider, maybe higher premiums, uh, pay, paying higher rates, or they're forced to move. Right. Um, California homeowners feel burned as companies drop insurance. Literally, this stuff is happening across the state. Now, again, I don't want to go down any rabbit holes. I've covered this stuff on my channel before. I have a couple of videos. I guess I'll leave links in the description for those as well for the more you know nefarious underpinnings. Uh, it's just very sad to see what's happening here. It seems one way or another, the state and the governments, they get what they're looking for. I don't know. Anyway, take care of yourselves out there.